I told you Dynasty would deliver, and that was just on suspicion, right? Past experience and familiarity for sure in terms of association to other groups, whether it be the Swedish metal regard, the power metal basis of the hard rock and heavy metal influence, Nils Molin's involvement as a lead vocalist, who as I've said many times, I have become a big fan of his. Ever since covering Ed Infinitum's Afterlife, that was my first formal entrance to his credits, and Amaranth, we spent a lot of time with them. Beautiful first introductions to such a killer presence within the rock and metal sphere, specifically on my favorite male vocalist. He has made a frequent replay appearance. I cannot get enough of him. The range, the style, just everything with him is what I'm looking for in metal. He's got it. And to hear that coupled of Dynasty... <laughs> on that first introduction, our opener to Fire Sign via Breathe With Me. Great first footing, which is very faithful to the experiences I've had of every artist on this channel and every song, as I've said many times, not one piece or one talent I've not liked. Every artist I highlight, which this is fair with your music, it is the favorite art form of my life among the artistic languages, I have a deep relationship to it, and I've loved being able to share that with a point of enjoyment with you on the channel and provide perhaps mutual experiences that we entertain good art together, because there is still that in the world. And in the music space, it's in an abundance of supply, specifically in the European regard. Many of you know I favor this space of the world with good reason. Dynasty. It was on my mind to feature them, again, following Amaranth, and because I've just become such a big fan of Nils, I, I've been waiting to get to them. I'm very thankful I've had a first entrance, with all of you, perhaps. And maybe there's a variety of approaches we take in terms of consulting uh, that original piece. Maybe some of you are familiar with it, and you've had a longer relationship to this group than I have. This is very much an early experience of me. Maybe some of you are taking a parallel journey with me alongside, and you're experiencing this... Uh, particular group for the first time. Maybe it's your first foray into the rock and metal sphere within Europe, and Sweden more specifically, and they are of dominant strength from a number of groups I've humored on the channel or have been previous favorites of mine. <laughs> they are the newest entry, and I am floored on how good it is, and I hope you are too. Maybe this will be your first introduction. Maybe you didn't have that first point of breathe with me. I would recommend it, but in terms of manifesting a core metal and rock feel, something classic, rock and roll energy, that song delivered beautifully. Again, that hard metal aggression, Nils' beautiful vocal range, which is quite extensive in terms of octave choices and flair, and it's just so natural. I love hearing him. Fun force to the piece. I can't wait to hear her more. And continuing on in the tradition of firsts with Dynasty. The first song didn't have an accompanying visualizer. I told you normally, and many of you I'm sure are aware of this in terms of format, and I've specified it long enough, in bringing music to a focus on this channel. To be fair to artists, I try and give extensive looks. So we're digging back a bit in terms of Dynasty's history with um, Fire Sign. Their, I forget what album it is in lineup, but it was a 2018 debut. And we're going to humor the most recent of the two later at some point. This is very much the foundational stages of gaining an understanding and a bit of a range in perspective and understanding just how far their credits go and how expansive their application is. But as I was saying with the first piece, Two tracks of Fire Sign I considered it a bit light because there were only two visualizers released. So I decided to add on, I think, two pieces based on the iTunes storefront page and what tracks were the most popular, at least on downloads and purchases, with Breathe of Me being the first entry that fit that mold. The Gray, though, is a little more traditional in how music appears on the channel and that this one had an accompanying visualizer. So our second track of Dynasty, our second foray, perhaps maybe your first, second to me, but our first visualizer we get to experience together, and I'm sure it'll be fun. As I've said many times of Nils, it's not just the vocal presence that impresses me. It's, he just has this nostalgia effect on seeing him perform that immediately kicks me back again into that classic rock and metal phase from like years past. He just has that fun delivery, but bringing it into the modern world so naturally and exquisitely. I've loved humoring him here. Again, He's become a dominant favorite in the months that I've experienced his work. Not even a year yet, but I am, as to the credits of many other European artists as well, I am falling madly in love with all that art in the world. <laughs> Maybe this will be your first step and you'll see why. You're going to be in for a fun ride, I'm sure. I don't know how this track is going to proceed on energy, but we're going to experience it together. Let's launch the gray. I'm having a great time with the evolution so far. Our second entry, let's kick it off. Okay, that's really digging back again, that classic rock feel. Nice snare choices. With a symphonic flair. I love that blend. 
Max Smooth. <laughs> Anything that simulates an orchestral presence. We're dealing with the big leagues. The background kick. Good choice. Oh, the pacing, even the momentum, just exquisite. That's perfect. And again, Mills is sitting in the middle range for this in terms of his vocal presence. He can get quite higher, as many of you know. But I like it. Oh, that was beautifully uttered. Some beautiful transitional phrases. So effective. There we go. <laughs> that really picks up the classic energy for me. It's particularly modern. I love the aggressive Fred. I'm getting a real 80s vibe, though, on pacing and presence. It might be more of a background effect, but it's just something you hear. That's nice, so even. I love this number. I love it. This is spell. It's great. Beautiful match to the narrative. Oh, beautiful hold on that. My word, that's good. Love the key choice. There are so many aspects of that piece, whether it be the opening introduction, but again, that aggression immediately kicks in. I love that force. The power in this number, speaking of power metal, it's just so great. Man, I love that. Love that kick. Gives the song such a fabulous drive. And that gives it a bit of a modern flair and a bit of a placement, again, in... Well, I mean, you could say definitely there are threads to it that date it back a bit, pleasurably. I don't say date back in terms of making a, 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 a statement constituting a diss. I love whenever there's like a classic rewind. It, rewind. It's not just on Nils. I would basically say by comparison, I think back to my early music history. I've mentioned this you know, before from time to time. What brought me in in terms of foundational years, I was raised on Christian music. Because you think, like, how do you get to a metalhead right from a Christian music foundation, right? Because it's more so in the worship and contemporary spaces. It didn't take that long for Christian rock to come in, and then Christian metal. That was more so, it was a point of emergence to me when I was a young kid, like around six or seven of some foundational presences, uh, like Amberlynn, Cutlass, Under Oath, some of those groups, Skillet. But then, you know, the metal groups kicked in over time, and as a teenager, I started to explore around a bit and go artist shopping, even my own spaces. I put in a couple secular groups as well. I started to expand. Now, we're, I consider where I'm at in 25, you know, way past six. 
<laughs> and I look at Dynasty and I think back to different groups that brought me in. I gotta tell you, this is basically, as I was listening to this, as I said, 80s vibes. If you were to take Petra and amplify their pres their power, that's basically what I just heard. Different key choice, but there's just something about that number. I think it was just the musical choices, the key pacing, Nils' vocals as well. Nils, Nils especially. As I said, he, him alone, he just evokes something, again, that dates it back to classic rock. Petra, as I said, I think a great comparison. Beat the System, any of you know that number? That's a that's a particular oldie from, like, I think, 1985. It's a favorite of mine. Man, that one's... I'll tell you, going back and rewatching the video in 2023 is <laughs> ever experience in itself. I was introduced to that probably in, like, 2005, 6. I don't know. <laughs> so closer to when it debuted, it's been, what, like, nearly 40 years later. <laughs> Something about the gray just reminds me of that. I don't know. It's just a fun classic metal vibe, isn't it? Beautiful rock mood, effective pacing, beautiful guitar break as well, fabulous transitions, really work to the benefit of a song, and the video is a great association. Kind of humorous. I love how that plays out towards the end of, oh, you've got the, the color that kicks in <laughs> to magical lyrics. <laughs> it's particularly on point with the evolution of a song, right? We have a black and white number, which was great, and I love the performance chic to it. You know, I love being able to sense an artist's passion, and you get that readily with a number like this. But to then see the switch of like, oh, suddenly we got fireworks, everything's in color. <laughs> it's perfect. It's a fitting match and a great experience. Um, just wonderful to humor Dynasty and get an introduction to their work. You know, many of the groups I listen to, especially in the European vein, within the metal and rock territories, do have a bit of a modern flair to them. And they do try different things out uh, in terms of different genre elements, adaptation. You know, every group you know has that type of trial experience in terms of employing new sounds and uh, approaches. But there's certain groups that you remember for particular signature elements. Dynasty, I think, is the most classic metal rock and roll type mood group. At least in a way it's evoked, that's such a convoluted way of phrase. I tend to be more of a grammar freak and that came out so wrong. <laughs> Dynasty for me, their signature element is they evoke with certain integration of particular stylings and a more aggressive force, an older classic rock and roll mood. Let me be more inclusive, classic rock and roll and metal. That's particular with them. Just two pieces in, I'm seeing that flair. Maybe that'll change over time. Maybe they'll expand on that with uh, newer entries in terms of album lineups. But this is where I'm starting. Just two tracks in. I'm seeing that build. I'm liking the definition again for what particularly singles out Dynasty in my mind. With enough credits considered, of course, the band generally including Nils. Again, that was a point of entrance for me, and I'm grateful that I went down the Dynasty route. I know I'm sure a number of you are, are quite delighted that I decided to take that journey for myself as well. Again, they were a recommended name, and I do intend, God willing, to satisfy those um, uh, probings, perhaps, you know, considerations and thoughts, right, when provided. I'd love to hear your thoughts down below in the piece, from whatever angle you approach as well, whether you happen to be a longtime fan of Dynasty and you obviously advance me, or you're taking the journey simultaneously, right? This is your first point of entrance. I'd love to hear your thoughts on the gray down below. I think it's a great number. You want to talk about, again, rock mood. Plus, you added in that symphonic simulation. Just anything in the symphonic metal vibe, I'm like, yes, I cherish it deeply. And to hear that intrude alongside power metal with a dominant hard rock influence, just I welcome it readily. That piece offers a lot on individual traits, but the way it establishes itself is like a classic throwback mood just in itself. I love it. I love the rewind flair. Two tracks in, that's something I've particularly seen in Focus of Dynasty, and I am having a great time with it. Can't wait to hear more. As I said, we're going to be spending a lot of time with Dynasty coming up. I think our next track off of Fire Sign of what I've lined up out of the four is, yes, In the Arms of a Devil. I liked that title. We'll have to see how that one fares, but the gray? Just like Fire Sign. Or, uh, uh, breathe with me. <laughs> we'll get to Fire Sign eventually. That is the fourth. Uh, that we'll consult here, but that's a good number. Really in the mood for it. Loving the energy. Still kind of a, just rolling off. It's great. Highlight. Highlight experience for me. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. Before you bounce, feel free to drop a like and comment, subscribe to this channel with a ding on the bell, and share this video with your friends. And consider checking out the description here. There you'll find links to my other channels, as well as addresses to my other social media accounts and ways you can help support my work if you feel so inclined. May God bless you, and looking forward to when our paths cross again.